Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Hit the bell, subscribe. We have new content coming out daily. Make sure you subscribe. God bless you guys. Joining us now is Todd Bensman, who is an immigration expert, and he joins us now. You can check out his website, toddbensman.com. Currently serves as Texas-based Senior National Security Fellow for the Center for Immigration Studies. Todd, welcome to the program. You're the author of the book, Overrun. You do a great job. Um, so Todd, how bad is it right now on the southern border? Well, um, appearances are not reality at the border. The administration is spiking the football in the end zone and taking victory laps, saying that the numbers of illegal crossings is down. And it is true that the number of illegal crossings are down, which gives the appearance of kind of orderliness at the border. But what they won't tell you is that by the percentage of decline, that same number is being brought through the ports of entry with permission slips that they're handing out by the buckets, uh, by the dump truck load uh, to anybody who applies. So they're handing out probably something on the order of 1 million of those in the course of, over the course of a year. So the same high numbers, 200,000 a month are still entering the country uh, but they're just being diverted through this other kind of pathway. They call it uh, legal orderly uh, pathways uh, is actually the, the term for this. Uh, but the cities like Chicago and New York and Washington and everywhere else, all they know is that there's all these people are coming in that are uninsured and needy and uh, going into their school systems and getting onto the public rolls and uh, filling up hotel space and all the rest. So none of that has changed. Just the way that they're entering looks like it's fewer, but it's the same. How many have entered it this year illegally into our country? It's hard to say, but uh, altogether, we think that they're probably on the order of four and a half million people. New people uh, have entered and been allowed to stay in the United States since Biden's inauguration. Uh, there have been some changes recently in policy, Title 42, uh, went away and it's it only went away in mid-May. So we don't have a really good um, figure on how many are entering, mainly because the, the uh, dump truck loads of uh, passes that they're handing out on the Mexican side, they're not telling us how many. So we can only kind of guess. Uh, they will not tell us how many. Nobody's demanding the numbers really. Uh, up until yesterday uh, at the at the hearing with Mayorkas, he was being asked how many. Uh, they're, they're also flying uh, probably, we think, on the order of 40,000 a month from foreign airports into American airports directly yeah, right. through ports of entry. So we think about 80,000 a month, maybe 100,000 a month are being brought in just in these two hidden ways. Uh, so, you know, I do have a FOIA uh, request that has been um, ignored and we are suing my, the Center for Immigration Studies has a, a federal lawsuit to get those numbers. Uh, we were told in our, our last uh, round of meetings with the D, uh, DHS lawyers that we may actually get the data in, in another week or two. So um, once we, we actually have hands on the data, I'll be able to give you a good answer to that. 